Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Lonesome Road Level 1 Naked Survival. Except, of course, we're no longer naked and we're no longer level 1. We are, in fact, level 3. But that's not quite right either, because as I spotted when I was playing last time, as I kind of confirmed when I was looking over it in the edit, yeah, I shouldn't be level 3. I should have actually got a big dump of about 2,000 XP for completing the job, the silo, and getting out here. But the game seems to have sort of missed that, so I'm going to quickly reload the autosave and just go through the conversation again off camera nice and quickly, just to see if I can actually get that to trigger, because I swear the game has failed to give me a big XP dump it ought to have given me, which would be very useful right about flipping now. Except, small problem, I can't. Unfortunately, because I waited until morning, that's replaced the autosave. <laughs> and the actual save is, well, the actual save is not too long ago, but I need to redo things I've already shown. I don't like, you know, redoing things off camera when it's a challenge run. So, unfortunately, we're just going to have to make do with what we've got. So, here we are. I'm probably like, you know, a level or two below what I'm supposed to be, which is unfortunate because I'm already preciously low on levels, but whatever the hell I write. Now, here we are in Hopeville arguably one of the most difficult and dangerous bits we're going to have in this entire run. Because Hopeville is now the DLC proper. That little bit in the silo over there, that was basically just the game keeping out low-level characters. Screw the gatekeeping, I go where I bloody well want. Hopeville is the first proper bit of this DLC. There's marked men everywhere, it's open, it's incredibly dangerous. It's basically going to kill me several times. Place bets now, how many times I'm going to die during this episode. Yeah, it's going to kill me quite a few times. Uh, and there's marked men everywhere. And I am not ready for them because I simply don't have the right weapons. Marked men have, let's just quickly do some maths here. Marked men have about 130 hit points and a damage threshold of about... 11, maybe 11 to 13-ish, if I'm recalling correctly. Now, that means rapid-fire weapons, like, say, the arc welder and the uh, the nail gun that I've been kind of relying on saying are good so far, pretty much useless against those guys. Might be able to stun them with a nail gun by kind of targeting the limbs over and over, but arguably, uh, it's not going to do that much. 10 millimeters, pretty much garbage against those guys, too. Plasma rifles are all right, but... I have precious little ammo for it, and the condition's pretty poor. Now, actually, that said, we might be ready for another weapon repair with ED. ED, can you help me out here? Yes, indeed. Happy beeping means I've now got that weapon up a little bit there. So that's a bit better. Yeah, up to damage 28, but only 30 shots normally and 4 overcharge shots. That is not going to last. So that means uh, we're going to need some different new tactics here. Unfortunately, there's one I've been thinking about. Now let's just shut up, Edie. <laughs> yeah, Edie's going to make that noise quite a lot, unfortunately. Because as we go down towards Hopeville, we could, of course, go down that way, which is ultimately where we need to go over in that direction. Or we could say, screw that, Edie. Am I just going to have to tell you to wait here? Because I bloody well. There we are. Edie can just wait here and get involved if need be, but basically just... No, no, Edie's not keen on... There we are, now she's keen on waiting over there, lovely. No, doesn't like being told to stay still, unfortunately. Yes, what we need to do is, instead of going down that way, we need to stay away from all those guys. Even though Edie's waiting there, I still get the enhanced sensor perk, which is pretty bloody useful. Those two guys over there, the two red compass markers, they're over by the headquarters, which is that big building I'm looking at right there. They're not going to leave that spot unless they're aggro. That's absolutely fine. In fact, actually, I might be close enough to get a... No, not close enough to get a VAT shot on them. We don't want to go that way. We want to go this way instead. This gate, which hopefully we can unlock. Yes, easy locked. Fine. I think that's actually leveled rather than anything else. That's apparently the first lock picking I've done in the game. Marvellous. So crack that open. And we need to go through here to the loading zone. That's waiting right now. The Hopeville Missile Base loading area. Now, this area has, I believe, no marked men in it, unless I draw attention up to it. But it's also got a couple of other advantages to it, which is, uh, I believe there's only one approach to it, because while this fence has collapsed, that's a drop down into the main Hopeville area. We're in a kind of little side area right now, and there's the little flag of Ulysses. Blue flag, meaning, hey, Ulysses is marking something useful for me. Indeed, it's marking something very, very useful indeed, which is, aside from just a few military crates, which we've already pointed out, very useful indeed. Uh, those meals ready to eat, good healing items, damn it, so definitely be taking all of them. Uh, we have got this little toolbox right here, which is the first instance of something very, very good indeed. Well, one, more nail and ooh, all the nails in the world as well, but Ulysses' log. Ulysses drops six logs. I believe it's six. Is it six? Or is it five or six? I think it's six. There are six logs dotted through this DLC. Never showed these off last time we were here, but they're really interesting little bits of flavor text 
And in addition, they're just very, very cool indeed. And it's a chance just to listen to Ulysses' voice actor, which is never a bad thing. So let's just quickly slap in one of those tapes right now. Back again. Left that crater behind. Got a few holidays left. Ones from the medical center. The woman, she fixed the recorder. Said it wouldn't last. Repayment for me, fixing her. She doesn't like debts. Can respect that. Payment enough, just to hear someone who believes in the Brotherhood of Steel, not Elijah. Different view, same madness. She answered me on their philosophy, their way of seeing, the roads that they walk. Dead ends, empty, as if technology can solve anything. Big empties proof where that road leads, just like the divide and all the roads that lead to it. So of course we get a bit of closure to Ulysses' role in the other DLC, because yeah, if you go digging through, and during the Jay Sawyer run-through of New Vegas, I ditch off all of Ulysses' tapes and everything over in the big empty of Old World Blues. So he spoke to Christine back when she could speak in the big empty, and basically chatted with her about the Brotherhood philosophy, came to the conclusion it wasn't going anywhere, technology was a dead end, the big empty proved that, diddly diddly dee. So, uh, it's a bit of a nihilist, bit of a nihilist old Ulysses here, but uh, basically he decided the Brotherhood philosophy was all garbage and he didn't like it. But it's also interesting what he's talking about, trying to figure out what philosophies uh, do or don't work in the new post-apocalypse. So, uh, We'll get back to that. That's the first of six tapes, and some of them are very, very interesting indeed. Nail guns, by the way, worth grabbing when you can. Despite the fact they're not the most powerful things in the world, they're very, very valuable. Even a low condition one is worth like a thousand caps, so well worth grabbing. Now, just work on the outside of here. We can see a third marked man clearly actually on the move. So he's patrolling more down in the Hopeville main barracks area, but again, don't worry about him, we're in a separate area from him. This loading area is worth exploring first because it's got something very, very important that we're going to need to keep ourselves alive and sort of uh, unofficially recreate an unofficial New Vegas Kill Everything DLC edition because our old friend needs to come back for one more big run out. And that's mines because this area right at the back of the loading zone is covered in mines. Grab you, and grab you, and is there a third one around here? Or is that just the two on the ground? I think it's just the two on the ground. Uh, but more importantly, this crate has a nice guaranteed payload right here. Here we go. Oh wait, no, there's a one at the... Ooh. No, there was a third. There was a third. No one heard that, right? No, it's good. Bowie knife, probably bad condition at this point as a result of that. Sorry, I forgot there was a third, but it's fine, didn't take any damage. Three plasma mines right there. And a further six in this crate right here. Oh yes. And also a duffel bag weirdly with, yeah, 25mm grenade ammo. Which is odd, because there's no gun to fire that out of. But also some medics. You definitely don't have a grenade rifle. No, you don't. You just had the ammo for it. That's a shame. You know what? You get yourself set up. Oh, there's no one rifle up in there. That's good. Wow. Probably nearly triggered that one too. Marvellous. Right, so I said, oh no, there's only two. No, there are actually four. There were actually four. I'm just terrible at perceiving things. So that's going to go well for me. But yeah, disappointing for that guy. You know, he sets up mines. He goes, hides in the corner. Just thinks, you know what? This is it. This is where I'm going to have my last flipping stand. I've got all the grenade ammo I need. And my trusty grenade rifle. Grenade rifle. Oh, I left the grenade rifle in the barracks. God damn it. Right, and now, unfortunately, he laid out the mine so couldn't get back to it. <laughs> I'd like to think that's the story you're supposed to read into that guy. I like that guy. He's good. Also, I think if you jump up onto here... There's one more toolbox up top, but nothing major there, just some flipping nails. But still, not a bad spot up here. If I had a sniper rifle, this would be good. I'd probably be able to see whatever that guy is, but unfortunately... Can I see any movement? Should be looking pretty much at him right now, but I can't see the movement. Fine. So now, I've got a ton of mines. Now that's good, because we've just established, this area has only one way in and one way out. So if I can aggro some guys, get them to come over here, then they will potentially have to go straight through this gate. They go through this gate, they have to work around this here truck. Nice, narrow choke point right here, wouldn't you say? Because I'm up to 13 plasma mines, damage 108. So, 
basically, doing the quick maths I was just discussing earlier with the marked men, damage threshold, because damage threshold's about 11 to 13 ish. Basically, rapid fire weapons are going to do nothing to them. But, with that lovely big bit of damage, just a big damage of 100 in one go, these things are going to do a hell of a lot of damage to a marked man. Two will kill him in one go if he hits kind of two together. One will cripple about two thirds, maybe three quarters of his health bar, which is a very, very good start indeed. And I've got 13. And as we've just established, there's only three of them running around this area. In total, how many are there? There's like, wherever that guy is, there's like two or three more over there, two there, him there. And then I need to save some mines for later as well. But I think I can also find some more in time as well. So basically, we've now got ourselves, actually, something that can kill these bastards. That's why that area is incredibly important. Because I cannot take on marked men one-on-one -on -one right now. One-on-one, -on -one, a marked man will just slaughter me at the exact moment of time. Because they get given really, really good high-level weapons. Also, there's some rads up here. I'm just going to very quickly grab what I need here. Including, ooh, stim pack and super stim pack. Absolutely, I think there's a... There's a mine here, but there's also a military shipping container, which I will never say no to. Now, what have we got? Oh, we got something. Right. So, we got sight of a marked man scout over there. Ah, the hunter. Right. So, we see him on patrol over here. If I go like, right over to this corner. Yeah, this corner's fine. Good. Now, we might actually have a shot at all of these guys. So there's a scout. Can't see the other guy. The other guy is... Basically, he's... Yeah, okay. You can just see him moving there, even though he's not got a vast range. He might have some... Uh-oh. Okay, so this has gone wrong immediately. Good. So I'm being shot by that guy. He's not going to come and get me, but that's fine. Because, as we've just discussed, we can lay a nice little trap for him. Right, flipping. Okay, maybe maybe a little bit slower. Right, fast up. Fast up. Lay some more mines. Fall back. Just let him come to me. And one more mine on the corner. Right, he's going to come this way. He wants to take me on. He needs to come straight past all the mines. So, he's going to walk into some mines right now. And caution. Caution. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, okay, he's walked, just walked straight into one of them there. Nice. Now I'm just going to basically put some... I've crippled one of his arms already. Okay, I know he's coming. Just let him come around the corner. He's just coming in the right direction. Is he? Oh, he's walked into another one. There's another two mines right there. Right, that's him taken care of. I think the other ones might be on the move now, though. The other ones might be on the move now. What have we got? What have we got? I mean, the fact one of them showing up, the other isn't, worries me. Because that would imply that one of them's coming, but I'm not in danger. Okay. That was four mines to take out one. That was very, very inefficient, but whatever. On the plus side, we've got something good off him. Tri-beam laser rifle. Arguably not perfect, because yeah, 3 times 13.6 means that high damage threshold of those guys means they're going to be resistant to that. But it's still powerful down the line. That has a purpose. That gives me plus one endurance. No. Hold off for the time being. Let's just quickly, as they're not coming from me right now, let's just keep eating these rations. Plus 2 for 15 seconds, so plus 30 in total. Fine. Let's just eat two of them. Get my health ticking back up here. Just check if anyone else is hunting for me, if it's just that guy. If that guy's dead, that's not bad, because that means now I've got free reign to explore the actual town itself, as long as those two guys don't see me. My sneaker's poor at the minute, so they will see me. They're very perceptive, these bastards. This time, don't actually get spotted, and just do one more of those. Lovely. Keep eating, getting the health back. Yeah. I could potentially, if I was to lay the traps, these are right here, aren't they? Yeah. If I was to just close the gate, put a couple of mines right in front of them, and then basically close the gate behind me when I'm done, that'd work, because then he'd have to stop to open the gate. Then he's guaranteed to be hit by the full blast of both. So, mine one, and mine two. Lovely. Now we just open the gate. Remember to close the gate on the way back through it. Next guy, because we're going to be probably drawing both of their attention at the same time here. I need this to fall back to. Once again, same spot. Right here on the corner. So we've got one and two. This one might not work so well, but we'll give it a go. So now we've got one and two. It should be two mines per marked man. Admittedly, I'm running really low on the mines already. 
More than I want it to be, but it's fine. All right, close up the gate. Gate is closed. Two mines right there. Marked man has to run up to here, and he has to pause to do the animation to open the gate again. So he's screwed. Actually, open it for now, because, of course, we can uh, hit it on our way back in. Now I just go up to the roof and trigger those bastards to start chasing me. Actually, I'm not sure if this second one can chase me. I think he might be stuck in a position where he can fire, but he can't actually get down. So we'll have to see about that. Uh, what have we got that's got some range? Oh, we've actually got some more microfusion cells off him. That's bloody useful. Stay away from the nuclear bomb that's in the front of the women's barracks, which is the building I'm currently standing on. Now, you over there. You actually move. Ah! Also, other very, very good news. He's holding a flare gun. I can see it right there. Flare gun. Beautiful. And the flare gun is something that... I don't think it's a guaranteed spawn anyway. You just have to get lucky. And I'm really glad that we've got him. Because we really, really needed him. You're kind of moving around irritatingly. I uh, just need to wait for a good shot at you. And if we're lucky... Ah, the slow-moving pla... Oh, I've definitely hit him. And I don't think he knows where I am, actually. That's intriguing. I'm surprised I'm not in danger. Or he's not blind firing or something. Actually, wherever he is, he's gone. Right. We've hit him with a couple of shots. that have done some decent damage. But now he's gone. Possibly he's come to investigate. Because that guy can definitely get down. There's some steps around here. Okay. Can't get visibility off them, unfortunately. So I just need to draw their attention at this point. And just need to find them for that. Right. I know I'm safe in the town for now. There's more way over there. But the one guy's patrolling the town is at this point gone. Just need to find somebody just hit with. Ah! Okay, we've got something over there. Also, I found something. I'm just going to fire some shots into him. I've got 10 bajillion nails. So if I just want to get his attention, then just kind of firing. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you definitely know about something. Even though, actually, this is a silenced weapon. This is the one weapon I shouldn't use for getting someone's attention. Oh, yeah, he knows I'm there. He knows I'm there and he's firing his flare gun. Flare guns do some fire damage over time, but honestly aren't that powerful. Right, let's get behind something. It's a slow-moving projectile, which is quite useful, but in first person, it kind of screws up your vision. Right, let's let him come to me. So, round here. Close the gate. Come on. Why don't you just come and give it a go? Hang on, let's just see if we've still got a shot at him. Where is he? Where is he? How did you lose me? You utter bastard. Come on. Come and find me. Okay, once more we've got his attention. Now this time, just make sure we keep it, please. And bear in mind, flares you can, for the most part, pretty much just dodge them as they come in. Yeah, there we are. There we are. That's right. Come in this direction. Keep shooting. Unless, of course, he's potentially got, like, a lower range that he's allowed to roam in than I was expecting. I'm not sure whether these guys are hard-coded to not be able to leave their immediate area. Ouch, that was a close one. Because he seems to be struggling to actually follow me, to be perfectly honest. Oh, and I've got someone else's attention too. Someone's got a traditional gun. I think the guy up top, the auto inject impact, decided to get involved. Right, time to get out of here. Hopefully now someone's following me. Right, close the gate. And into caution, not danger. All the times I've wanted to be in caution, not danger. The one time I actually want to be in danger. Yeah, there's the other guy. Marked man hunter holding a sniper rifle. Now, I kind of want to get hold of that. That would be a really useful weapon for me, quite frankly. Oh, yeah. Sniper Rifle Man. Sniper Rifle Man definitely has a bead on me up here. And he's got surprisingly long range. Well, not too surprising. He's a bloody sniper. But... And he just nailed me in the head. All right. Never mind. Let's try this again. All right, let's just get up top and see what we can do to that guy up there. Slow moving plasma doesn't exactly help hugely. But... There we are. Got... Ooh, a crippled head. Oh, head's a good thing. Yep, fine. You're probably going to hold still for a second if we're lucky. Might be able to basically... <laughs> kind of just blind firing in. Bloody Eve mod. It makes the plasma rifle pretty, but it also means it kind of obscures what you're trying to see. We've got a good line in right now. Just a couple more shots. Come on, just one more needs to find its mark. And he's dead. Right. He's dead to long-range plasma rifle fire, but that's burnt through like... Two-thirds, three-quarters of all my plasma rifle. So, we're not going to be able to repeat that trick. But, two of the three marked men are dead. And we're almost out of ammo for the one gun that can kill them. So, that's nice. 
Right, Operation mining up this area blatantly was a non-starter, but that's fine. That just leaves me more mines for later, where I know for a fact they will be more useful. In which case, let's head into Hopeville itself, because yeah, right now the only guy spawned in this immediate area is the guy up there. And we can use cover to get around him. Because of my low sneak and his high perception, he will see me pretty soon, but... Right now he doesn't have a line at me. Good. Good, 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 good. Because I'm interested in... Ah, there's another one over there. Right, a new guy is just... I think a new guy actually spawns in when you get to this part of the world. And we've got ourselves, would you believe, very conveniently, a hard-locked terminal right here to the armory. <laughs> Once again, this has all been very well planned out, damn it, if I do say so myself. Right, new guy shows up over there. I've just got to see who that guy is and what we can do to him. Got sight of you. There we are. And it's another guy with a flare gun. Okay. Not so bad. Watch out for you. Okay, he's seen me. He's seen me. That's fine. The question is, what can you actually do to me? Because I'm not sure you've actually got a way of physically getting to me at this exact moment of time. Okay, he's looping around here. But that way's blocked off. Over there is blocked off until someone destroys the nuke, mainly me, to clear out the barricade. So he can't get to me right now, so we don't have to worry about him at all. So leave him be, just for the time being. Only guy I need to worry about is the guy who's up there. But him up there, don't have a... Oh, hello! No, no, no! Apparently you do... Okay, hang on! I've made a miscalculation with that guy. Apparently there is a way for him to get round to me. I... Oh! Of course, because he can drop down, he just can't get back up again. Right! Um, tri-beam laser rifle, I guess. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. Right, let him shoot the trees. Let him shoot the trees. No, shoot the trees. Right, and boom, 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 boom. And at this point, there's no ammo in this gun anymore because it burns through the ammo. Oh, this is going to end well for me. Right, what have we got left that's actually got any, like, you know, ammo? Bonus damage versus robots and power armor. Completely useless. Nail gun. We're literally going to have to nail gun him. Oh, this is just going to be marvellous. And we can stagger him a little bit for the time. I mean, this is what we need. Look, look, we're just staggering him. We're just staggering him. Right, now, just get around here. Keep staggering him. Keep staggering him. And also, you know, like, hit him at some point. Look how much damage we've done. <laughs> Which is to say none. None whatsoever. Right. Now get him in the head. His head's crippled, so his aim's absolutely screwed. Now we just need to basically just keep him staggered. And now we just need to break the condition of his gun. With his gun crippled, or if he keeps dropping it. And also he's got a healing item. These guys heal. At this point he's got zero condition in his right leg. Zero condition in his left leg. <laughs> Tiny bit of... I think he's still got... No, he's still got some flare gun condition. Right, I just need to basically keep shooting him in the everything. Right, there we are. My auto injected impact's also kicking in. <laughs> this is basically an impossible fight no one can ever win. Right, get point blank range and just shoot him in the... Okay, there's no percentages showing up here. No percentages. I've run out of nails. I think I put 800 nails in it. And it's done nothing. Plasma grenade. Plasma grenade does good damage. Right. Two plasma grenades. 87% chance to go. There's one. In goes the second. <laughs> oh my goodness. He just healed it off. He just healed it off again. What's going on with this guy? Why won't you die? Oh, God. I mean, I know they've got flipping health regen, but this is... This is beyond what I'm expecting. How, how are they doing this? How is he healing this fast? He's not in radiation right now. I know they're like super ghouls, but this is just odd, quite frankly. This is not what I was expecting to be a problem. He won't die. Right. Okay. I think we need to rethink our tactics here because he's just refusing to flipping... Why are you not dying? Hang on. Can I pickpocket you to see what you've bloody got? No, he's just... He's just got the most ridiculous health regen that I wasn't anticipating. Right, intriguing. Right, now, somehow, he made his way through here. Which I thought he wasn't allowed to do, because this looks like a blockade to me. But somehow, he managed to... Maybe if you, like, jump on top of the thing and then fall down, you're allowed to. I'm not sure. Right. The point is, we need to basically hit this guy as he comes around the corner. So we know he's going to come around here and come by close by to these two trees. So he's going to come through here. So as a result, he's... I think he's coming, by the way. Uh, right, hang on. Plasma mine times two right here. Right, that one's upside down. It'll flipping do. Yeah, he's, he's inside that car. Okay, he's managed to make it through. Oh, 
He's not going to go to... He's got plasma grenades! Oh, bloody hell. Right, I need him to walk into those mines. I need you to walk into these mines. Into my... There we go. No. No, don't. Don't let him recharge. Don't let him recharge. Get right up close. And now finish him off with three shots in the head. One. Two. Oh, no. He's, he's healing too fast. I literally can't keep up with his healing. This isn't fair. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Don't just... Go. Go. No, I'm out of ammo. And he's up to full health. Oh god, what is this? What even is this? Okay, this is this is now officially ridiculous. How do we kill a man who won't die? He's he's just regenerating too fast. Right, two plasma grenades if we're really lucky. Yep. Yeah. No, the vat slows it down too much. And now he's running at me and I'm going to get caught in the blast. Right, what we've just learned is that guy for some reason is completely invincible. Because he's got health regen times... 10 bajillion. Okay, it's going to take three plasma mines to kill him immediately. Okay. <laughs> this is stuff I wasn't expecting in the slightest. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Round over here, round over here. No, round over here. Run forward, please. Why are you not running? There he is. Okay, now he's... He's still going. What is this? Right, how about four mines? Maybe four mines will do him. Four mines might be enough to kill this impossible Superman. I think in the background he's now actually lifting up a bus, possibly to toss it at me, because I'd believe it from this guy at this point. Oh my god, I think he's... No! No, he's not! Is he... No, he's not! He wasn't even hurt! He wasn't even hurt by that many mines! Now he's also got a plasma defender! He just walked into all four of them. It did nothing to him. Then he healed it off. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, he actually died! I killed Mark Superman! Oh my goodness, yes! Yes! He just stepped on all four mines and the four mines were able to kill him. Screw you! Screw you, you utterly ridiculous. How did you do that? What was even going on? I don't know. I don't know what his deal was. Screw that guy. Screw him so flipping hard. Right, well, he's dead now. I'm not quite sure why he had all the regeneration in the world. He just flipping did. Right, so he's dead. That now leaves one guy up there. But before we go and take care of him, yes, we've got something very important to go and visit. Which is right over here, this lovely building. Locked hard, you say? Well, would you believe I've got my science at 65? And there was another guaranteed spawn of a programmer's digest. So isn't that just spot on? Right. I'll just be helping myself to this building, please. There we go. And that's also conveniently just enough to push me, I believe, into the next level if I'm lucky. Or maybe I was just shy. Right. Unlock the armory. Armory is indeed been unlocked. No, I think I'm like one flipping experience point away or something. I'm No, actually. If you... Wait, hang on. 1,100 out of... Okay. Oh, it's because I'm still technically in caution. Fine. No, I'm ready to level up as soon as I'm technically out of caution. Just very difficult to do in this area. Right. The armory. We like the armory. You know why we like the armory? Because some nice 308 ammo is always very, very much welcome. Together with all sorts of other ammo as well. Now, rocket canisters. We want all of them. We'll be needing them down the line. Rocket canister. That adds 13 rockets apiece. Yep, we'll be needing rockets later. The armory is, in all fairness, a little bit on the disappointing side in some ways. There's not quite as much in here as you might like, but never mind, eh? And over here as well, on the opposite shelves, we have got more rocket canisters. Now, the lovely, lovely Bernie damage over time rockets as well. Grab all of them. But most importantly, in this here locker... Riot gear and riot gear helmet. Yes, we have got ourselves some actual flipping armor. Bear in mind, my current damage threshold is 8. Let's slip on this here riot gear, and that goes up to 24 immediately. Oh yeah, 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 I think I can deal with that. Also, you get something else which is kind of weird, which is you get sneak sight. Which is, oh, and I've leveled up, because so I'm technically hidden right now. Excellent, so I get to level up while in sneak sight. It's... Kind of night vision-y, but also kind of not. It just puts a filter on the world. Honestly, I've never been convinced it's that useful or anything, but whatever. Right, so... What have we learned? What have we just learned? Uh, one, I need my explosives up. Potentially quite a bit, because mines are still potentially very useful, but they're not quite powerful enough yet. I could do with my energy weapons being a bit higher as well, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, that's... That's probably sensible. Lockpick would be good, but no, uh, but sneak would be good as well. 
no, that's fine for now. That's fine for now. And of course, we're actually at a perk level. Now, two more skill points per level. I'd normally always take this, of course, but that's that's a perk when I'm not necessarily going to do that much leveling up. Well, I'm going to do a fair bit of leveling up. That's maybe equivalent to 20 to 30 more skill points over the course of this entire run. Comprehension's normally great as well, but how many skill magazines am I actually going to be using? You know what, just go for it. Educated's never a bad idea. We have got some leveling up to do. Yeah, so stand up and that little kind of wibbly thing wears off there. There's a little bit more here as well, if I recall correctly, but that's basically the main stuff. You just want, it's early riot gear, basically. Early riot gear, which is never a bad thing. There's also one very hard lot, uh, locker here, but I can't remember for the life of me what's inside it. And I don't actually believe it's that good, whatever it is. Maybe there's one more rocket I've missed there. Yep, one more rocket. So... We're swimming in rockets, this is all good, this is all lovely, and we've got, well, we've got at least some ammo for the plasma gun, depending on whether or not that one remaining guy at the top of the headquarters has infinite regeneration forever, like bloody marked Superman over there did. You know, I'm actually going to take off the right gear helmet, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I don't really like the sneak sight. I'm not a particularly big fan of it, so I'm just going to wear the breathing mask, because honestly, I think it's actually a little bit... Okay, I'm not wearing that anymore. Why am I not? Yeah. That, that's fine. So I shouldn't I shouldn't have that. Yep, wibble out of that. Oh, is that just how the world looks anyway? That might just be how the world looks anyway. Hang on. Yeah, the world just looks like this anyway. Right, never mind. So, one important guy now needs to go down. The guy who's patrolling up there. Now, I would normally say we just run up there and point blank range. Though, actually, now I've got my new lovely awesome riot gear. Hang on, hang on. Put the gun away here. Put the gun away. And we've got ourselves... Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is pretty good with my breathing mask and my riot gear. Now I'm starting to look like a badass. Admittedly, I've got actually, I know for a fact I've got a beard shoved inside that thing, so it's probably a bit uncomfortable and itchy. But yeah, we're on to a good thing here. I look pretty badass, I'd say. Now I just need to loop around here, find that guy. Now I can loop up to here, but bear in mind, he's got a sniper rifle. High perception. He'll see me and start shooting. Fairly easily. Probably he'll see me before I see him. But there's plenty to hide behind in this part of the world. He's over there. On top of... Yeah, on that bit of roof there. But he's hidden behind that debris. Right. Work my way around here. Nice. Slow. Careful. Just work my way closer to him. If he's got a sniper rifle, I'm trying to handle him at range. Oh! He's down on the ground. 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 Okay! That... I wasn't expecting him to be down on the ground. I didn't think he actually even flipping could be down on the ground. Right, where is he now? And is he allowed to... I'm not sure he's allowed to roam even this flipping far. I think like his friend, he might be a bit stuck in his little local area. If I just go and hide behind this car, can you even come and get to me? I'm just going to experiment with this. I've dropped a safe not long ago, so I'm just going to experiment with him. Just check whether he does actually have a really, really limited roam range. So he knows where I am. I'm not sure he can actually get to me. I'm not sure he's allowed. He's just sort of a bit stuck right now. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Well, if he's struggling to navigate around this particular area, then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over to my plasma grenades. Now, depending on whether or not he's got ridiculous super-powered regeneration, like his friend did, this may or may not work. So I'm just going to... Oh, I'm stuck on scenery, stuck on scenery, stuck on scenery. Right, jump across here. Now, I think he's down on the ground. I think he's going to struggle to navigate back up to me, so I should hopefully be able to. And when I say he's stuck on the ground, he may or may not be stuck on the ground. Right, let's just vat a grenade down on him if he is where I think he is. Yeah, he is. He's right down there. Right, so you down there, my good man. Double plasma grenade for you. There we are, straight down on you. And he's trying to jump up. And has he got ridiculous healing? No, he didn't have ridiculous healing. But by the way, I think I've just crippled myself. <laughs> I've just slightly crippled myself. But that's fine. That's 100% fine. Because for the first time in quite a while, I'm actually reliably hidden. So I'm entirely comfortable with the bloody situation right now. That's average locked. Can't do anything with that. Right, started eating some lovely MREs. That'll be absolutely fine. Ooh, vending machine. Vending machine will give me Nuka-Cola. What if there was a place with all the fizz of Nuka-Cola? Wouldn't that be the cheer, cheer, cheeriest place in all the world? Well, it certainly would be cheerier than Lonesome Road. That is true. 
Right, you, my good man, uh, you have got something I very much want, which is, uh, together with more armor I can just sell for a good price, sniper rifle. Good old sniper rifle. Good condition. Good, good condition. Admittedly, it's going to sway like crazy because I don't have the strength or the guns requirement for it, but it'll flipping do, all right? It'll do. Right, let's just see how bad the sway is while I'm crouched. And it's pretty bad. Okay. Actually, possibly I've got a crippled arm right now, which might make it worse. Yes, I do. I've got a few crippled things. You know what? Let's just use a doctor's bag and one stim pack. That's fine. Now, is it better now? Okay, good. It's not quite as bad as I feared. That's nice, at least. But yeah, there's definitely still a bit of sway even while I'm there. Right. This area is now, for the time being at least, safe-ish, anyway. And the reason why you want this area is because this area lets you actually get through to where you actually want to flipping go. So if we go round over to here, hang on, where's... Oh no, so I need to be one level further down. Basically, I need to clamber up that rubble to get past the blockade that that guy that uh, Mark Superman just glitched through. And over this wall. And then beyond there is actually where the laser detonator is. And also a great big trap. Don't forget the massive trap, that's important too. Another flipping rocket as well. Ooh, four more rockets. We are swimming in rockets, and that's not a bad thing in the slightest. Uh, we don't want to go there just yet, because there's some very important things, now we've cleared out this area, that we can actually loot from this area. First things first is the headquarters itself, which contains something uh, very important, but which I don't know whether I'm actually capable of taking control of right now. Basically, inside here is two marked men. Now, if I want to take out two marked men, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to need to burn my plasma grenades to do it. And even then, I'm not sure whether I can, but I'm going to give it a flipping go. And actually, how much jet do I have? How many action points do I have right now? I've got 92 action points, and the amount of jet I've got is literally only one. Okay, that's not going to be enough for me to jet my way back up to full action points. Do I have anything else that actually would help with that situation? Honestly, no, unfortunately. This is going to take some... No, this isn't going to work. Right, run! Okay, I just blew myself up, so that wasn't in many ways the best start. So one of these bastards starts off with a uh, melee weapon. So potentially if I just stun lock him with the nail gun, okay, then someone else comes around the corner and just destroys me. Okay, what I need to do, I think, is immediately run to the room on the right and try and hold out there so the guy can't just immediately get and just basically destroy me. Uh, but this is... This isn't going to work in the slightest, is it? No. No, I don't think it is. You know what? Try beam laser rifle. Try beam laser rifle. Hello! Right. Hello. No, okay. That at least vaguely works. That does some good damage to you. Go for the headshot. That did nothing. Right. Round the corner. 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 Hide in here. Hide in here. Now. Wait for him to get up there. Luckily, this thing doesn't seem to actually require a big amount of vats. But shotguns and vats sometimes are dodgy. This is a shotgun. Okay, that was good. That's crippled his head. Bloody hell. Even with Vat's defense, he can knock me to the ground and almost kill me in one go. I'm not sure that's going to work. I'm not sure we can take this room just yet. Okay, plan two. Plan two. We just need to basically do nothing but go for his Blade of the West, which is admittedly powerful. We need to just cripple that. Get that down. Just fire a nail. Okay, we've got the nail gun to knock the weapon out of his hands. So now he's just unarmed. But now he just goes for more stuff. And now we can just basically keep him stun locked for some time at least. <laughs> now he's running off. What's he going for now? Oh. Then a different guy shows up. Okay. How about we just go for your weapon? Okay, now you've lost your weapon. And now you're a bit damaged too. Okay. <laughs> the nail gun's actually doing a competent, vaguely good job. He's gone and picked up a lead pipe. He's gone and picked up a lead pipe. That's amazing! No, 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 no. Okay, I can resist the lead pipe at least. Right, go for, go for, finish him off with some leg shots. Right, leg shot one, and then keep going for the legs. Vats defense will keep you alive against thing. He's got his gun back. Okay, he's got his gun back. Now we need to just go for his. Okay, actually, you know what? Vats defense might actually do the job here. Just go for the legs and hope for a stun. Now keep firing, keep firing, keep firing. Oh, we've done it! <laughs> the nail gun! The nail gun takes out two marked men! Oh, yes! That's ridiculous on toast, but I'm gonna flipping take it. Oh, yes. 
Yes, 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 yes. I'm aware, by the way, um, that I could, of course, use uh, ED to partly clear up this area because ED is immortal, so ED can slowly wear people down. That's why I left ED back at the beginning because I don't like using ED to basically cheat this area by letting her do everything. I think that's kind of cheating. I wanted to prove I could do this without using uh, ED at all, which is why ED is just waiting at the beginning. ED will be joining us later because ED has to join us later, but at the bare minimum, we've got ourselves a bit more jets. Jet is a good idea, and is there anything else in the... Yeah, the security briefcase just gets me that silenced pistol, not so good. And yeah, this safe hard locked gives you the code to the armory, so you need either 75 science or 75 lockpick to get in there. You probably guessed what the point of clearing out this place was already, which is I didn't just fancy picking a fight with some marked men, because marked men are fun to fight, because they're not. Though admittedly, the tactics I've had to use so far have been kind of hilarious, so I'm kind of glad this is going not even remotely to plan, that now I'm taking out marked men by stun locking them with a nail gun, which is just marvellous. No, what we wanted here was, of course, well, one, a nice safe terminal in this part of the world, so we'll go and pick up EG in a second to bring her here, but two, an auto dock. So basically conduct physical exam, so therefore radiation sickness, lacerations, broken bones, chemical additions, basically a free heal forever. I can just fast travel back here and have a free heal. So healing items stop becoming a problem. Literally, I still need healing items for, you know, while I'm actually fighting or whatever, but if I take rads or if I get addicted, it no longer matters. Ooh, there's a box on it. It's completely empty, that's a shame. But yeah, basically if anything goes wrong, it no longer matters. Whatever happens now in terms of, like, chemical addiction, I can sort it out with the auto dog. So as a result of that, that means we're in good shape to basically just start shoving drugs in our mouth. Which is why I wasn't too sad to leave behind Logan's loophole. Because yeah, now we've got this here auto dog. Now, I'm just going to quickly go and grab ED and bring her back to activate that there terminal. Because I've got a lot to sell. And hopefully, by now, we might even have had uh, cycled inventory. So I might have new stuff to buy too. Ooh, hang on, that's a magazine. Ooh, Salesman Weekly. Once again, pretty useless, but screwed. If I haven't needed a tiny bit more barter to make a bit more money at the terminal, why the hell not, eh? And while we're heading back over there, yeah, we passed by this little petrol station earlier. Never turned down some free nuka, because basically never turned down any free healing item we can actually use out in the field. Sure, we can heal ourselves between fights, but healing while we're on the fly wouldn't flipping hurt either. That's a locked floor safe hard, kind of much for that. Ah, nail gum. Very, very valuable indeed. As we've just learnt, even more valuable. Like, you know, I thought it might be fun on occasion as a gimmick. Actually, in all fairness, I was thinking there might be a use for it coming up. Not quite flipping yet. So, uh, as it turns out, the nail gun, even more useful than I was anticipating. And stim pack, and stim pack. Thank you very much. Ooh, flame of fuel. Right. Flame of fuel. We're going to be needing that in time. Oh, actually, wait, that reminds me. That reminds me. Hang on. No, no. Grab ED first, then something important. We've got a corpse we haven't gone and searched yet, and I really, really hope that corpse hasn't despawned. Because if it has, that's going to be annoying. Wait, no, no, not up here. Uh, looping around here. The very first guy we sniped off with our plasma rifle round these stairs had a flare gun. We really, really, really want that flare gun. Also, there's just loads of steady dotted around here. Which, I guess, makes sense. This was a military base, and steady is for military purposes. Oh, yes. Flame of fuel, flare gun. Most important thing. And a frag grenade. Okay, not the best, but it'll flipping do. Together with more military shipping containers and ammo boxes. Ah, this one I can even open as well. Electron charge pack 74. Not the most difficult thing in the world. We're okay, because we are dangerously low on ammo right now. We need to sort that out. Ooh, that... <gasps> Stealth boy times two. Oh, all my Christmases have just come at once. I don't even know if that's a guaranteed spawn. I don't remember that being there. I hadn't planned for that to be there, but that's just beautiful. So, ED, open up the terminal for me, please. ED will detect this and head straight over to here. Rapid fire weapon. Honestly, we can do better than that right now. Weirdly, the nail gun does a much better job of being a weapon than, you know, an actual weapon, but I'd rather sell that for some money, please. Bowie knife times two. We'll keep one just for emergencies. Flare gun, keep under all circumstances. Grenades and mines, keep under all circumstances. You're pretty good. Let's just sell one of you and actually use the other one to repair up this thing. So we're actually going to be using it a fair bit. So we're going to sell that right now. That grenade's not great. And we're already out of stuff. Well, that's fine. But you know what I need? I need ammo. Lots of ammo. In particular, flipping micro fusion cells. If you've got any, you don't. Okay, but I'm willing to buy all the nails in the world because I've just had a really good education in how good nails are. And I'll also just buy literally all the age you've got going because I've got a lot to sell, so I may as well. 
And as we've got so much to sell and we just need to basically buy stuff, yeah, you know what? I'm going to take this opportunity to buy a bunch of flashbangs. Very situational, but just occasionally they'll do the job. And obviously I can make that back by selling all of this scout armor I no longer require. And flashbangs, the game even has a little tooltip for those, that's nice. Yes, deals fatigue damage, reduces enemy weapon skills, but chance to frenzy tunnelers. Yeah, we'll get to tunnelers. Tunnelers, it's just a good idea to have some flashbangs just in case. We're just going to have a bunch of them on our person. And I'm holding 6,000 caps right now. Well, that's just bloody useful. Quite frankly, I will actually take just 1,000 caps in order to get my plasma rifle up. Yes. Now it's time to finish looting, hopeful, before we actually go and get the flipping, yeah, laser detonator. Because that's when things get a bit more interesting. Okay. Back into caution. And I think we know why. Probably because Edie's put me in caution. Oh, no, wait, no, Edie's still around there. That's fine. It's night. It's... Okay. That's... That wasn't what I was expecting. These guys are more perceptive than me because neither me nor Vats has located them yet. All right, fine. So at this point, this is probably all going to go completely wrong, but I may as well see what's going on. Yeah, up here. Up here, that's fine. I was planning to like be up here as a sniping spot. It's a good sniping spot around the back of here. Ah, I think they might have run into flipping Edie. Oh, no, no, they haven't run into Edie. They've just run into me in general. Fine. Well, this is okay. This is fine. I've got the ultra mine dots around here. Right, so they're going to come this way to get to me. And if they want to do that, there's two mines waiting for them right flipping there. Well, you are more than welcome to come this way, you bastard. Oh! Okay, well, something's just happened. Possibly just a grenade was thrown. Right, plasma grenades. Burn my plasma grenades if need be. No, they're coming around this way. Fine, so that didn't help much. But Edie's right there. Fortunately, Edie's immortal. So, you know what? You, my good man, 70% chance. Go! In goes grenade and... I think someone might have shot my grenade out the air there. Right, need to do a better job taking care of them. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of guys over here. There's a locked gate here, and they are all up there in those houses up there. Now, how are they going to get to me? Logically, the only way they can get... In fact, actually, no, let's figure that out right now. I'm basically just going to deliberately aggro them to figure out what route they take to make it round to me. Because, yeah, sure. Hello! Hi over there. I assumed you'd, like, come this way. But let's see how you actually make it down to me. So I see you there. That's fine. Logically, this is the only open route to them. So they should come this way. But do they? Okay, that guy's over there. And they are indeed... Yeah, two of them right there. So you're going to kill me right now. But that's fine because now I know which way you're coming. And also that was overkill. In fact, actually, based on what I know now... If I'm in the open right now, there's going to be two of them. One of whom prefers to be using a Blade of the West. One of whom prefers to have a flare gun out. So in which case, yeah, there we are. Caution and then mysteriously danger, because they just seem to be able to sense me from 10 bajillion miles away. Even if I'm not, like, you know, there or anything. Hello, right, you want to come and get to me, and you are going to be favouring melee weapons. Well, that's absolutely flipping fine, because if you want to favour melee weapons, I'm just basically going to shoot out your legs uh, or your weapon. Right, all of the VAT shots on that. And there we go. Right, now he's just dropped that. Now he's trying to swing a weapon that doesn't exist. Now I'm just going to back off over here. The other guy's got, at the bare minimum, a flare gun. Right, you've got uh, crippled legs around here. Back off. ED can provide a little bit of fire support here, which is fine. At this point, this guy just needs to... Apparently, I've only got a 31% chance of hitting head. Well, that's just unfortunate. Right, let's just go for you, then go over to the other. And then if we're lucky, we're going to cripple your legs, then you won't be able to follow me. And in all fairness, you're punching me, so I'm going to have total resistance to that anyway. Right. Back round to the other guy. You're over here. Edie can do a competent job fighting these lads. So now just basically take you on. Any chance I can get a headshot at this point? No, weirdly not. Uh, but that's okay. Just keep going. Burn through some nails, damn it. And almost dead. And there he goes. Basically doing like one damage a shot. Right, Blade of the West. Once again, damage, whatever. Also, we had a harmonica. Don't particularly care. Right, where's the other guy? The other guy's possibly running to Edie by now. Right, if we can, plasma grenade him. Because, yeah, he's got caught up by Edie. This is why I don't like using Edie, because Edie makes it a little bit simple to use Edie for distraction purposes. Right, one grenade for you. 81% chance, right by your feet. That'll flip and do it. And also, we've crippled you a bit. And now Edie will probably get the kill, but I'll get the kill if I can, just so I can feel useful. And... Yep. 
My kill there as well. Another 45 XP and... Also, there's just been the mega explosion. Ah! I think someone shot a car over there. Fuck. One of the cars went kabang. Well, that's a okay. Right. So, job done there. So, that's those lads cleared out. I think it's just the two of them. That's There's the Blaze of the West, which I could have looted off his corpse over there. But no, it's actually over here because New Vegas is just weird like that. Now, I think we're okay for the time being. So, we've got the Marked Men Guard Outpost. I think they were the only two guys there. So, obviously, I've been given the uh, ingredients to potentially make some bottle cap mines or whatever here. So round here, with everyone dead, we've got ourselves uh, rocket canisters and rocket canisters. Lovely. And would you believe more flipping rockets in here? And probably more... Ooh, Stealth Boy 3. Oh, I'm just in Clover. I'm in Clover for Stealth Boys and that's the best thing ever. Because <laughs> Stealth Boys are basically a free way of skipping the most dangerous sections in this DLC and I'm thrilled that's an option. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Right, I thought we were done with this area, but as it turns out, someone else is angry with me. Okay. Back off. I knew there were two guys back there, but I thought they were trapped behind an area where you needed to free them first. Are they actually... Oh, dear. When I say two guys, apparently I mean three! Right. Gonna be needing some grenades then, aren't we? Right. Lead them round here. And now... One of them is gonna be... Oh. Where are they? Okay, one of them's firing. Only one of them's over here. Okay, the one that's over there, let's focus on him for the time being. I've still got four, sorry, five plasma grenades, which is okay. Where is he? He's around the... Oh, okay. He's taking pot shots. Edie, Edie, can I speak to you? Why don't you just follow me and get involved in this one? Because we're outnumbered three to one or three to two with you involved. So how about you go and get involved? Lovely. Right, that guy over there has... Yeah, you know what? Okay, one grenade for you. We're just going to burn through the grenades right now. Boom. Lovely. Right. Now, Edie can hopefully do most of the rest of that. Just in case, I'm just going to back her up with a little bit of nail gunning. Right. Nail gun, nail gun, nail gun. Hold still. Hold still. There we are. Right. Next. Oh. Okay. Something's exploding. Possibly. Ah, that's a flashbang over there. That's fine. Right. What have we got here? Ah, we've got one over there. Okay, who's possibly looped around into behind the barricade. If they have, they're too far away. ED, where are they? Okay, I think they've lost us. Good. Good, good, good. If they've lost us, that's fine. That means we can take them out one at a time. So those two lads have now been lured over to... Or rather, one of them. I think the other one's there as well. Have been lured over to that side of the map. Which is fine, because that means now we are welcome... On this side of the map, where they originally were. And there is over on this side of the map, high ground and cover. This could work for... Edie, have you just aggroed them? Edie, I think you've just aggroed one of them. Well flipping done. Right, let's get up close. So Edie decides that she wants to get involved. You're shooting Edie right now. 91% chance on you. Grenade for you, my good man. And manages to get out of the way a little bit. Edie gets over there. Let's just get out something a bit more on the powerful side. And just hold still, you bastard. You know what? Maybe we'll just vats him in the face. There we go. Now you don't have a face anymore. This is seeming much more manageable. There's another one around here somewhere, but we're not actually in danger from him. Ah, that's not too bad, to be honest. Yeah, I'll take a good rifle. Right there. That's a hard locked gate. Don't worry about that. Right. One more guard who's actually active in this area. Probably want to go and take care of him. Get up top with a sniper rifle. Newly improved. And it's nearly dawn. Right, where are you? Where are you? We should have a side view from here. Ah! Yes, we do. Hello. Oh, but this is going to be on the tricky side. Right. Just basically take pot shots at him with my wibbly scope. Oh, he's moving around and so's my aim. Right, well, this is going to be good. I think I might have hit him. I'm not sure. Oh, now he's coming in this direction. Ah, he's got a melee weapon. Oh, well, that's just perfect. You know what we do to guys with melee weapons? We nail them. Right, you are... Ah, you've got a fire axe. You've got a flipping fire axe, do you? Okay, well, why don't you come over here, my good man? Come over here. Edie, by the way, Edie's, he's, he's arrived, Edie. Edie, do you, do you recognise that he's actually here? Right, well, he's stunned. That's good. Now I'm just going to jump down. And let him come back round to me again. Now he's going for ED. That's fine. Yeah, the nice thing about these guys is... Should we just take out the... Where's the... No, I want to go for... Let me go for the... 
That's where the controller was sometimes odd at not letting you select what you wanted to select. Right, there we are. Excuse me, I'll have this. There we are. We've picked that up. Now, do you actually have anything else? Because he might not have anything else at this point. He might now be running to try and find a weapon. Oh, also I'm badly injured apparently. When did that happen? Excuse me. Come back, you flipping coward. If he is trying to run away from me, he's doing a weirdly good job at it, quite frankly. I can't bloody track him down. Where are he? He's somewhere around here. Where's he bloody gone? Ah, there he is. Right, what have you got in your hand right now? Excuse me. Hello. What are you holding? Ah, you've managed to find yourself a knife, have you? Well, that's good. And one final shot from my new rifle finally gets him down. He was taking a bit too long. It was boring me. Oh, he had a basic knife. Oh, bless him. I like it when you can do that. Just get them to drop their weapons and whatever. Right, that should now be everyone in this wider area. Also, there's a little, little area I think a few people missed around here. Uh, yeah, around the back of the patrol house, there's the entrance to a basement. No enemies down here. It's purely for flavour. It's just basically a basement full of uh, hung up corpses and humans and stuff. Open up the fridge. There's just a bunch of basic stuff there. Get yourself some, you know, new cola or whatever. I suppose there's technically one first aid box down here, so it's worth coming just for that. But yeah, basically it just kind of, you know, demonstrates where are they getting their food from? Oh, they're eating people. Also, there's a service rifle down here, but honestly, the service rifle isn't really that good, but I guess there's a box of ammo with it, so that's okay. So at this point, we've suddenly got ourselves some at least workably acceptable guns. So we can at least manage ourselves in a fight, especially using the nail gun for disarming purposes. Now, let's just loop around here. Because, yeah, there's a little area around the back here we do not want to miss. Actually, I might not be able to open this. This might be average locked. This is... Okay, average locked. Come back for that. We're going to need that later. And around here, we've technically got another camp. This is where these guys spawned from. Around here, yeah, the Mark Men Supply Outpost. Watch out around here. Yeah, there's... Uh, because there is that their little uh, warhead, this area is irradiated. But that's fine. We can just quickly swing around here, just for the sake of grabbing, would you believe, explosive crates. Very, very useful indeed, including a pulse grenade. Much of there's many robots, to be honest, at this point, but it's worth it anyway. And also rocket canister times three. And I'm picking up rads pretty quickly right now. I love how they actually, you know, they lay out the sleeping bag right there. They like the rads. It heals them, like I discussed with Ulysses earlier. But I just need to go through this place. I'll get a rad heal pretty darn soon, so that's fine. This area is worth coming through just for the flipping military kits. Oh, medical one. Nice. Uh, any others that are actually any good? There's one. Just a bit of ammo. Nothing major. The others at the back in normal crates. Nothing to worry about there. So that's Hopeville cleared out with one fairly major exception, which is, of course, the objective we've had all along is to get the laser detonator Ulysses told us to get, which we have been deliberately putting off till last. And there's a very, very good reason for that. It's because it's a big ambush. So I wanted everyone else dead before we did it. Because everyone else being dead means I've got just a little bit more XP, a couple of extra levels. Well, one extra level, to be honest. Once again, I've been leveling up more slowly than I expected. Am I slowly flipping level... Still in level four. I was expecting to be like level 6 or 7 right now, but then I am missing 2,000 XP that just failed to flipping load mysteriously when the silo quest was complete and the job began, but whatever. Actually, I think I might get the the next big group of XP when I pick up the laser detonator. Unless, of course, that fails to flipping trigger as well. Who bloody knows? So, back over towards the headquarters over here. While we're passing by, never don't bother with the opportunity to get a free rad scrub and heal. And once that's done, just loot around the side here. That does nothing. That's easy. And up this way, where indeed the ridiculous marked Superman originally spawned, we can go through here and get through to the quarter of the level we haven't had access to yet. Now, this area is all quiet so far. And indeed, if you're thinking too quiet, absolutely, you're one step ahead of everyone else. It is too quiet. It's a flipping ambush. But before it's an ambush, it is indeed empty. And there's a bunch of ammo boxes, so we can open up at least some of them. Ah, oh, flame of fuel. Okay, that, that's going to keep me alive down the line. Not this episode, but next episode, flame of fuel is going to become literally the most... Oh, sorry, I forgot about that guy. I forgot about that guy up there. Sorry, I forgot about the guy who's up there. Right, it's an ambush, but it, that's not the ambush. There's a different ambush. That guy has basically got a rapid-firing rocket launcher, which probably doesn't sound fair to you. And probably it's not, but it's fine. 
Right, we just need to make sure we nail that guy. There he is. Right, right now, fortunately, he's aiming at Eddie, I think. So we're okay for the time being. Yeah, this is why, for the most part, I leave Eddie behind. I think Eddie makes things a little bit too easy sometimes. Right, uh, but Eddie's fallen off, which means Eddie's now unconscious. Good, good. Right, rest of this fight's up to me. Need to climb this rubble and... Oh, yeah, I see there. I see there. Need to get inside this building. Right, get close range to him so he doesn't fire the rocket launcher. That's... No, that's down. Down doesn't help much, but admittedly, does get me a first aid box. Oh, and a bobby pin too. I'll always take a bobby pin. We're lacking in those right now. Oh, yeah, we have to climb up the rubble, don't we? Ooh, Right, this is going to be interesting. He's up there with a rapid fire rocket launcher that will murder me. I need to find a way to murder him faster. And grenades will just bounce down, so grenades aren't going to do the job. Right, round here. Yeah, and... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no. Okay, he's fired. That's defense might save me. And when I say that, there's probably not. Right, go for the regular itself. There we go. If we're lucky, we've knocked out of his hands. We probably haven't, though. No, we probably haven't. Uh, luckily, it's not actually that powerful. It's weirdly not powerful. Right, you need to basically go... Okay, he decided to put that away and pull out something else. Uh, right, go to the nail gun. And go, 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 go. Okay, go, 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 go. Yeah, now. He's over there. Good. Why don't we just knock this out of your hands? Yeah, double shots that. Okay, good. Now he doesn't have that anymore. Or rather, he'll have to run over to get it. And now he's going to try and unarm me. You want to unarm me? That's fine. You can try and unarm me all flipping day. Because I've got a flipping tri-beam laser rifle. So let's see how this does one-on-one. -on -one. There we go. I think that went pretty well for me. And he has got himself red glare. Now, I didn't want to shoot that out of his hands. Well, if I had to, I would have done. But I didn't want to. The reason is, uh, this thing is not exactly great. But it's rapid fire and it does the flipping job. And there's also a second one right there. So red glare number two has been added. Good. I can merge those two together. And that gets me an extra four damage there. So red glare. Very odd weapon. Because it's a missile launcher. But you see damage 46. DPS 185. So it's a rapid fire missile launcher. It's not great. You almost certainly wouldn't use it normally. Except for me, it's actually not that bad. I mean, damage 46, firing quickly, and that DPS, that'll do. That will flipping do right there, as long as you don't accidentally blow yourself up, which I probably will. And I've been deliberately gathering, of course, all of the uh, beautiful, beautiful... Oh, Edie's awake. Well, bloody done. I've been gathering all of the rockets, specifically, so that I can actually, you know, fire this thing forever. Edie, shut up. It's fine. I know we've got the laser detonator. It's right flipping there. But I do not want to pick that up. That is going to trigger an ambush. So the last thing I want to do is pick that up. Now that guy's dead. I'd forgotten that guy was going to spawn. <laughs> that startled me. Uh, right, now we want to loot the rest of this area while things are nice and safe here. More explo- Oh, an explosive crate. Always like an explosives crate. You don't have to approach that guy that way, by the way. You can also kind of cross by the roofs over here. Because you can, like, go up in these shops and then go along that way. There's one of the warheads. Once we've got the destination, of course, we can use that to detonate the warheads, opening up new paths for us, etc, etc, etc. Now, if I'm remembering this correctly, the ambush is going to come from two directions. We're going to get two lads running up from about here-ish, spawning here-ish, and they're going to run out of this alleyway and start shooting up at me. And there's going to be two lads coming from, I don't know exactly where they spawn, but they're going to basically start running down roughly this side of the road right here. So my job is to prepare for them. And that's why I wanted to have as many plasma mines as I could left over for this moment. So, plasma mine number one, plasma mine number two, right there. Next up, I want to have plasma mine number one and plasma mine number two right over here. Now, I know they're going to come from... Hmm. Okay, logically, they're going to end up in this sort of an area. So, just in case they do, let's lay another plasma mine right there. And you guys... I've also got some frag mines, don't I? This is not the time to be shy. Let's go laying just a few more frag mines up this side where I think you guys are going to spawn. So, one, and two, and three. This is frag mine central right here. Surviving this here ambush is just worth it. Let's get red glare out, because red glare is extremely important. Red glare will do a good job shooting these bastards down. Whatever survives the mines will just kind of will mop up with red glare. 
Pick up the laser detonator. Lovely. So, pre-war tech detonate the nuclear warheads, of which there are many. And yes, indeed, of course, you can use that to detonate warheads when enemies are standing close by to warheads. Very, very useful indeed and very, very funny. But, well, but also opening up more paths. Now, wait for it. In a moment. There we go. Flares get sent up. And in come the mines. So we've already got one leg crippled, but I've not seen any XP show up yet. Which worries me. Right, Edie's heading over to... How did you possibly get up to us already? Also, someone's tossing grenades at me. Well, that's just not good. Ah, okay. Well, you're over there, and apparently... Okay, you're not dead. Right, well, this is this has not gone exactly as I was planning. Just, okay, we've knocked you off. That's fine, but I'm injured, probably from the flipping grenade. Where's the rest of you? Bloody hell. Well, this has completely not gone to plan yet. Let's just quickly go to... Okay, let's try this again. Okay, first things first, these mines were in the right spot. So, let's see if we can just actually finish off the two marked men that come this way with a triple plasma mine right there. So, triple plasma mine should do the job. The other guys, let's get them get a bit closer. I think those frag mines up there were further away than they actually spawned. So, let these guys come down this way. So, what we're going to have is we're going to have a pattern of four over here using the... Actually, you know what? No. We're going to have those two down there. And we're going to back them up with the remaining fragments. It's going to be one big mega explosion. There we go. So this is the explosion for those guys. That's the explosion for those guys. That should hopefully work a bit better. Potentially, I could just leave the mines up here. They clearly do actually climb up to try and, uh, you know, attack me. They know where I am. So I could just basically uh, lay the mines on the route up. That might be a more sensible option. But still, let's give this a go. Right, and grab laser detonator. Hide at the back. Now wait for some XP to start appearing. There we are, just step forward, wait for the... There we are. That means that's now happening. They're now coming. And there's... Okay, so we've definitely killed a few of them. And... Next up... Okay, we haven't killed the next group, though. The next group are not dead, or at least some of them might be. Right, you're up there, however. Ah, you're interestingly barely touched. Okay, fine. Boom, 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 boom. You see this thing slightly ridiculous, by the way. Right, I need to get out of here before he attacks me. I'm probably going to... No, I survived by landing on a ledge. Right, how many are left? Oh, several. Several are left. Right. 13. In we go. Right, round we go. Now we're just basically taking these guys on. Remember, when you're using a rocket launcher, aim for the floor. The floor will do good work. Where are you? Where are these bastards? Ah! They're over there! Right, okay. Just boom, 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 boom. I know this looks ridiculous, but it's kind of doing the job. Right, one of you's coming for me at this point. Uh, no, you're coming for Edie. Right, well, that's good. Edie is just going to tank for me while I take care of this. Boom, boom, boom. Are you dead? It's kind of hard to tell. Right, is everyone dead? No, at least one person is not dead. Right, continue reloading rockets. Edie, where's the last one? We're almost done. Okay, someone up there has got some stuff. Right, boom, 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 boom. And I think the job is done. Lovely. I think I accidentally crippled your zapper. Sorry. Right. And I think we've leveled up from that as well. Marvellous. Right. We know what we need to do. A uh, lot of needs to start moving in the right direction. Because I need that to be 50 uh, at some point for very important reasons. We could do with a bit more sneak. Yeah, you know what? Let's just get sneak up to 30. Just for the sake of it moving up in the right direction. Explosives. Explosives is going to start saving my life. Done. Right. Lovely. Now. What have you lovely gentlemen got on you? Ooh, plasma grenades. Don't mind if I flipping do. And I'll gladly take a shish kebab because that is much, much better than, yeah, the bowie knife I've got right now. Well, actually, in some ways it's not, but in some ways it is. You know what? It's fine. Mortar knife rifles. Good. Repair up mine further. Now, this thing goes away. And yes, indeed, these two guys died immediately. Spot flipping on. Nice. Double grenade. Bit of stuff for you. Another shish kebab. I'll repair up the shish kebab I've already got with that. And that's almost certainly going to be another sniper rifle. Nice indeed. So previously this area was locked away because of that little, uh, yeah, this blockade of cars. That admittedly, the mysterious supermarked man was able to get through. But thanks to the laser detonator, we can do this instead. Which is just points to warhead. And after a moment, the warhead goes kaboom. Lovely. And I have used the laser detonator on a warhead. And thus I now need to make my way through Lonesome Road to a collapsed overpass tunnel. But first, of course, now cutting through this area and thus creating a shortcut that leads back to the starting area. Of course, I can actually now use this to detonate warheads uh, elsewhere. 
because there's warheads we've already walked past. And while once I've detonated, of course, there's a little bit of a flurry of radiation, actually then the radiation uh, fades away, and as a result of you actually clearing out the warhead, there's actually less radiation floating around. So it's worth going, if you know, just clearing it out while you're passing by. Also, it opens up new buildings. Like, this building here is the, uh, the women's barracks. So, previously, there's literally nowhere to get inside this. Detonate that, that blows up the cars, and now I can go in there. There's no point, there's nothing good in there, and when you step inside there, um, two marked men just spawn out of nowhere and ambush you. So there's no actual point taking care of that, but I just wanted to point out that building does exist and isn't available until you've actually got uh, the laser detonator. If you've got really high sneak, there are some really, really fun things you can do with this thing, of course, which is, you know, sneaking up on enemies that haven't noticed you yet and using them to detonate warheads while they're standing next to the warheads. It's a really good way to kill enemies. My sneak is nowhere near good enough for that to actually work. So that's not really going to fly, to be perfectly honest. Of course, what I need to do ultimately is I need to detonate that warhead, which will open up the path towards the collapsed overpass. The problem is it's also going to cause 10 bajillion enemies to spawn in, and I've now used up absolutely all of my mines. So that's going to be a bit of a difficult thing to take care of. But I do have one plan in mind. And speaking of which, there's another one. There's actually like a special, I can't remember whether it's a perk or achievement or whatever. Basically for detonating all of the warheads. You can see there's 30 in total. Detonate absolutely all of them for just a little bit of an extra XP dump. Honestly, there's not a huge amount of point. But you know what? It's fun and they're pretty, so why the bloody hell not? And yes, indeed, I did just go back to check just in case I missed. No, all of my mines definitely detonated. So I am now out of mines. So I can no longer use the old mine trick to deal with that. Because if we just go over to uh, here and we look down, we can see the area we're going to need to get past. Basically, that blockade is about to be blown up by the warhead. Once that happens, uh, a lot of people, including the first of the special unique marked men, are going to spawn down over here. And we're going to need to take care of them. And that's going to be fun. That's going to be very, very fun indeed in very much inverted commas. And we will take care of that next week, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Lonesome Road, level one, naked survival. Thank you very much and goodbye. I've created a small problem in my road system, which is uh, it's literally impossible for anyone to ever go back into town. And this building shall be where we produce our zebras. And this much taller building next door is naturally where we produce the giraffes. Does anyone remember how the road system went? I think it was something like this.